Hello and welcome to another Red Dwarf figure model review. Today uh, we're going to look at, as you can see, the Arnold Rimmer Deform 7s model. Uh, this came out in 1994. Um, I'm not sure how many were made. I'd love to find out if anybody knows. Please leave a comment below on YouTube or Facebook or even get back on Twitter. So let's have a look at the box here. As you see, nice little bit of writing there. We turn around and this is what it looks like inside. As you can see, the head is deformed, hence the deformed name, as put to the rest of the body. There's the rest of them there. And then continue twisting around. We just have some more stuff saying copyright Rob Grant, Doug Later, 1994. A nice touch, a very nice touch, I think, is just on the top. You can see Red Dwarf Jupiter Mining Corporation insignia. Very nice touch, I think. Didn't need to be there, but they put it there. Very good indeed. It's on both both ends. All right, we'll open this bad boy up. All right. First out comes Mr. Rinner's body. All right, this is a modeling kit. Um, so very simple modeling kit. All you have to do is attach the head, really, and then paint. Um, there's his hat under there, and uh, the badge, Mr. Rimmer's badge. All right, very nice indeed. Next out to the box comes the head itself. As you can see, you know, it's nearly the same size as the body there. All right, very good, as in D form again. Nice H, you can see, and here we go with a lot of detail. You can see the forehead there and the mouth. There's a bit of black on the nose there, so that just came from the painting inside, I think. Lovely detail in the head and the hair there. Getting back to the box, what else is in here? We have a lovely little illustration of how it looks, and also you can see there, there's a Dwayne Dibley deform as well. And the writing at the bottom is, Dwayne Dibley and Arnold Rimmer, part of the deform collection from seven models, Copyright, Rob Grant and Doug Later, 1994. Nice picture of the two of them there. There is also from Sevens a Crichton model. Um, it's not a deform, it's an actual scaled size. Um, these are six inches. Um, I think the Crichton one is bigger. Um, and there's a lot more parts to put together. Okay, on oh, the back of this, there's a couple of gags in here from Sevens. Nice sense of humour. So we have Red Dwarf Deform Collection. Simple to put together and fun to collect. The new range of strikingly packaged red dwarf deform figures will be expanded over the coming months to include many of your favorite characters. Unfortunately, I don't think this happened. Um, each standing six inches tall, these highly detailed, highly collectible and simple to paint models require no tools whatsoever to complete and you don't even have to use glue. With just two slot together parts and no instructions to follow, Tiki Holden himself will be struggling to find a problem. Great little reference there. I was talking to a guy in Dublin town. Um, I'm going to get him to paint it. Unfortunately, I know this is a bit sacrilegious to all model makers, um, but I'm going to get him to paint it because he's professional. And I've seen someone's work in a shop and it's very, very good. So I'm going to get him to do it because I've tried painting models years ago and I was terrible at it. And I wouldn't have said I got any better since. And since this is a rare item, I think I'd like to have it looking as much like that as possible and not just a piece of crap that I'd want to throw away at the end of it. So I'm going to send it in, I'm going to bring it to him and uh, get him to do it. So off I go to do it now. So here we are in Dublin city centre on Bolton Street. Um, we've come to a place called the Dublin City Comics. So it does loads of comics and has lots of second hand and new sci-fi stuff. See some, get some great second-hand stuff from here. There's Atat. Lots of Star Wars stuff, lots of everything. Lots of great models here. A lot of these are painted by the guys painting my rimmer today. There's also a comic club downstairs. See more great stuff up there. Great little comic club. 
You can get to come and chill out. Lots of couches, TVs, cool posters, old PlayStations, old N64s. Really cool place to come chill out and do your thing. I have to go back upstairs. So this is Christy. How you doing? This is the guy who's going to be painting. You can see some of the stuff in there again. Some busts. Fantastically painted. Cool. Do a short bust. Okay. okay. Seeing as it's freestyle, I figure we're gonna put him on a base. So I don't know. We're on the Star Wars base here, which we'll super glue him on there. And we'll add a bit of groundwork in later on. We're going to base coat the hair with black, give the flesh time to dry. Yeah, I'll take ready to go. Right, so I have my home now. Uh, I just wanted to show you Rimmer's face after it's dried in the shop. There it was a bit bright. So now it's uh, it's cool. It's cooled down a bit, and it's uh, looking a lot more like Rimmer should. Um, thanks again to Christy, absolutely fantastic job. Uh, let's just go over this detail now again. Like, wow, look, there's a H just done exactly like it's done there. There's a few dots and all. You can look at that, uh, the features there again now. It really brought out the wrinkles. Um, all over the face, going down in a suit. You can really see the microphone and everything there. Let's zoom in on that. See the microphone there, the H, the hats is fantastic, the buttons and the suit, the boots, and I really, really, really like the way he got this stand going. Lovely stand there from now. Um, thanks again to Chrissy, and uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>